And today my presentation is about Hamlet and whether he was insane or not in the play. Hamlet's main theme is death and how everyone, beggar or king, is reduced to dust in the end. William Shakespeare wrote Hamlet around the time his son Hamnet died, and that's probably why the play is so dark in contemplation. First, let's take a look at the main characters. Hamlet was a fictional prince of Denmark. He is a very charismatic character and often thinks of death, one of the major themes of the play. He is very intelligent, though some might say he took too long to act against the king. You'll see why later. Some also say he was actually completely insane throughout the play, but I disagree. Claudius was Hamlet's uncle, and he was married to Hamlet's mother, Gertrude. He killed Hamlet's father to, in order to obtain the throne as the king of Denmark. He was a manipulative character who knew exactly how to get people to do what he wanted. Gertrude was Hamlet's mother, and she married Claudius after the prior king. She seems to be loyal to Claudius throughout the play, but her dying words to Hamlet alone, and she finally realizes what she has done to Hamlet by marrying his uncle Claudius in Act 3, Scene 4. Polonius was a pompous fellow and the king's advisor who lacked nothing more than to hear his own voice. He often tries to fully control his children, Ophelia and Laertes, who would much prefer to be independent. He likes to be in the center of the king's attention and affairs, and is very nosy and thinks he's very important. Laertes was Polonius' son and Ophelia's brother. He is not initially a strong character, but he eventually tries to usurp Denmark's throne. Claudius is able to calm him, however, and he manipulates him against Hamlet, who he has a duel with in Act 5, Scene 2. Ophelia was Polonius' daughter, who goes insane after he dies. She was unable to cope with the events of her father's death and Hamlet's so-called insanity. She was Hamlet's love interest before she died, in Act 4, Scene 7, by being on a tree branch when it snapped and fell to a tree. It's still unclear whether she did this on purpose or not. Horatio was Hamlet's best friend and a student at Wittenberg, where Hamlet studied before the start of the play. He was also very trusted by Hamlet and learns of all his plans and ideas before they actually happen. He was also very knowledgeable in politics and what was going on around him. Now let's take a look at the story to see if he showed any insane characteristics. Hamlet is a play about a prince named Hamlet whose father, the prior king, has died. The queen marries the king's brother only two months after his death. Hamlet then meets his father's ghost, who reveals his uncle killed him in his sleep. Hamlet then goes on to adopt a mad disposition and puts on a play showing his father's supposed murder that the ghost described. Claudius, the present king, reacts to this play, and Hamlet now knows he can safely avenge his father's death. Hamlet then goes on to visit his mother's chamber after the play, where Polonius, who is trying to find the cause of Hamlet's madness, is hiding behind a tapestry. Hamlet hears a noise and stabs him through the tapestry, thinking it could have been the king that he had killed. This sparks Polonius' daughter's real madness and his son Laertes' revolt against Hamlet. At the end of the play, Laertes and Hamlet have a duel, which I mentioned before, but Laertes decides to use a poison sword, which ends up killing both them and the king. So, was Hamlet truly insane? Kiernan Ryan, an author for the British Library, believes Hamlet was truly insane throughout the play. This is because he took so long, five acts in, in total, to act against his uncle. I believe otherwise, because he shows himself to be a very thorough character in the play. I believe Hamlet is not truly insane in the play, but putting on his antic disposition. He actually mentions he will do this exact thing in Act 1, Scene 5 of the play. Even though his stalling of killing his uncle Claudius ends up killing many, including himself, his precautions do make sense. If his uncle did not truly kill his father, if the ghost was lying, Hamlet could be punished by death. He had to make sure it was an honest ghost that was telling the truth. In 1995, the British newspaper The Independent asked a psychiatric nurse whether she thought Hamlet was insane to play or not. She said Hamlet wasn't insane because he wasn't deluded or psychotic. I believe he was provoked. I think he was made totally distraught by what was happening. I agree that he did not exhibit any insane behavior. I went further into this and found two definitions of insane. One was exhibiting a severely disordered state of mind, and the second was unable to think in a clear or sensible way. Hallett did not have a severely disordered state of mind because he was able to engage in witty wordplay throughout Hamlet. He was also able to think in a clear or sensible way. He sought his plans for revenge against his uncle through. For example, he put on a play, and he also made sure he was not making any mistakes. 
I don't think an insane person would or could do either of these things. How it was written around the time when Shakespeare's son died, and this probably influenced mostly how it's musings about death throughout the play. I'm not sure why exactly he put on an anti position, but it could have been to make the king think he was insane, so people would not pay any mind to his odd behavior. Hamlet is my favorite Shakespeare play, and I would re recommend it to people that like Shakespeare and thought-provoking themes. Thanks for watching.